everybody, this is Louisa with LA Paper Studio and today I have the second money saving technique for scrapbooking or paper crafting. The first um, technique is linked on the description below and um, if you're watching from my blog you can just look at the blog history and the previous blog post would probably help you. And um, the first, the second technique actually piggybacks off of the first one which is this one I show right here of how to use eight and a half by 11s to create your 12 by 12 layout borders and not waste an entire sheet of 12 by 12 paper. So that being said, I've already created my 12 by 12 borders here with one inch strips using eight and a half by 11 paper. Um, my second technique is very, very similar and it's something that I found out. Um, you can pretty much see it very quickly um, once you're doing whenever you're doing these projects and if you get in if you're new to scrapbooking um, you will have probably realized that adhesive um, is actually very one you need it for every single project and two it can become quite expensive so I have here my three number one types of adhesives that I use I use a few others including glue dots and score tape, but for scrapbooking projects, I would say that at least 80 to 90% of my adhesive usage comes from these sources. Now, this is probably one of the, my favorite types of adhesive and most scrapbookers that you see out there love this type of adhesive. It's very quick and easy and simple to apply and to use. The problem is, is that each one of these rolls cost about between, if you're using the acid free, it costs about $9 per small box of two rolls. Now the rolls, which I have one here, the rolls which come in a box like this one uh, are 36 yards, which is a really good amount for your, uh, for your buck if you will for nine dollars you get two 36 yards so that's a really good amount of adhesive however even then if you start calculating how many yards you would need to finish a layout between all the layers that you're using this becomes really expensive or um, just difficult to to use then we move on to the other types of adhesive that you have available I do have one other that I'm not putting here on screen. I use it sometimes um, and it's your um, glue sticks. There's a lot of good, and there's pros and cons to every adhesive. On this adhesive, even though it's really easy to use, the con obviously is that it's expensive. Also, once you lay down your paper, there's no give to it. You absolutely have to, you only do it once and then you burnish it on here. When you're doing big surface areas like this one, you're normally going to start over here and then you're going to start trying to move it. That would be impossible with the ATG gun. So for this kind of project, I absolutely would not recommend, even if this was a more cost effective approach, I wouldn't recommend it because unless you're really, really good and you can become good with practice, it's just difficult and it doesn't have as much give. Then we move to the liquids, which is my favorite type of adhesive to use for layouts. The quick dry adhesive, this bottle costs about, I think it's $8, $7.99 at most retailers. You can get it obviously for 40% off with a 40% off coupon. However, $8 for this bottle, and you're going to be using a lot because we're talking about large surface areas, can also become quite expensive. This one is acid free also, and it's quick dry, which is good. You want it to be quick dry, but sometimes by the time you're done um, wetting all of your sides, one of the sides, as soon as you put it down, will be really ready. And I do mean it this way, will be very, very ready to get attached to it and will have a little less give. So I use Scotch quick dry adhesive specifically for my small uh, for my small cuts on the layout. So whenever I'm putting any images together that I cut, used my Cricut or my Silhouette with, this is a great adhesive to use because of the quick dry nature of it. 
Um, it also, when it dries, it dries really sturdy and strong, and it gives an added layer of strength, if you will, to all your small little pieces that you cut out. So this is a great, great resource. This, however, has quickly and very easily become my number one go-to adhesive for scrapbook layouts. Don't really use it very much for cards, but definitely for scrapbook layouts. The reason is, is one, it's extremely cost effective. You can get this bottle for $2 and I think 49 cents. And it brings a good amount of liquid glue. When it dries, it dries absolutely clear, which this one dries pretty well also, but it does still have a shine to it. Obviously, if you're using this with black cardstock and you do a lot of, you over pour the liquid, at some point this one will start glaring also, but it takes a lot of it for it, for it to be noticeable. So it's also great because you don't have to be extremely precise. It has um, a lot of forgiveness to it if you're using dark colors. It is cost effective. It's good with dark colors. You don't have to be super delicate. And then on top of that, it has a lot of forgiveness. It has a lot of give when you first spread it on. You can move your paper around and yes, it'll get smeared all over, but like I said, it dries almost completely clear and it's very, very easy to hide any oopsies with this. The other thing I love about it is that it has two tips. It has a fine tip, which I use a lot for smaller areas, and then a very gooey um, broad tip, which is great for larger areas. And also, it, the this tip has a little bit of, um, I don't know what to call it, like little ruggedy areas, so it helps spread it across. Now, the, all this being said, this one, this type of adhesive also dries fairly quickly. Um, not as quick as a quick dry adhesive, but it does dry pretty much um, pretty on par to it. I would put it um, I would put it pretty close to it. And then once it dries, it dries absolutely permanently. When you first put it on, it has a, it's very liquidy. You first feel like you're de dealing with water and like it's not gonna adhere at all because it does wet the paper so it'll warp a, l a little bit and it'll try to come up. So I try to spread it and then um, have some weight put on whatever it is that I glue to make sure that it doesn't try to come up. But then as soon as it dries, it dries absolutely perfect and it's very, very, very permanent. And this one, I actually use that glue for it. And as you can see, there's no warpness to the paper. You can't, there's no weird glue coming off of it. And I actually smeared it very much because I didn't know what my dimensions at the end were gonna be. So it got smeared all over this white and you, can, you cannot see it at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this layout process together using this glue. So here you have it, my piece, my two pieces are glued perfectly. They, if I wanted to move them around, it still would have some give to it. Um, but I'm gonna try to, I'm, because I'm happy with the results, I'm just burnishing all the glue off. And then I'm just gonna set this to dry. It just needs a little bit longer than your quick dry, to, to, your quick dry adhesive to dry. And it should be ready to go. So I hope you enjoy this um, money saving tip and if you have any questions about this, please uh, go ahead and leave me some comments. If you have any suggestions on it, I really would appreciate it, appreciate it also. This is an ever um, learning craft um, and I really enjoy collaborating. So thanks for watching and I hope this inspired you. Mm -hmm.